circling back a little bit, $108,447 a year for the next six years. Never going to financially recover. <laughs> <laughs> So quick little recap, right? We went and saw this machine down in Corona. We liked it, we bought it. Two weeks later, it was delivered. About two weeks after that, the methods guys came in, the technicians, they got it up and running, indicated in. I did some initial training. We had the stock coolant tank that the RoboDrill comes with. And basically at this point, it is fully installed less the coolant chiller. This is the last part of this whole equation to be installed. And the reason the methods guys didn't install it is because I bought it used for 3000 bucks. We're gonna get this installed on the machine here shortly, which will keep our cutting oil at 70, 75 degrees, which allows us to make tight tolerance parts in a lights out environment over a long period of time. All right guys, so the last time you were here, the machine was just getting dropped off and it wasn't installed, it wasn't hooked up, it wasn't wired, none of that had happened. So since then, we've loaded up the 60 vices inside the pallet pool. It, the machine's obviously been wired up by methods, the technicians. We've run some little test sample parts, just kind of getting our feet wet. Haven't gone into full production on anything just yet. So we'll go around, we'll talk about the machine and kind of show you what, what we got going on. We've got, this is the high pressure coolant unit. So we have a thousand PSI of cutting oil through the spindle to just to help with chip evacuation, all of those kind of things. Back here, obviously all the stuff that has to happen. We have air coming to the machine. We have air to the front of the machine for the operator. Power, we've got our ethernet cable for our networked system. This is the large custom coolant tank that took us two months to get from Henning. So this system, unlike a lot, uses a bag filter. And the reason we're using a bag filter is because we're using cutting oil and not a traditional water-based coolant for tool life, trying to get away from evaporation, all of those things. A few of the other things that are add-ons to this machine is you've got the Royal Mist Collector, uh, the controls for it are right here, not super ergonomic, but it works. So this prevents me from smoking out the shop and the whole shop smelling like cutting oil. It reclaims the cutting oil and then in this little line here, it condenses it, drops it back down into our coolant tank, which is cool because cutting oil is expensive. Here you can see some chips that we've made on this machine, um, just testing it and running it. I ran a small job that took three or four days, I forget exactly, but I can show you guys kind of the, the tank in there a little bit. So there's that red Hankster first cutting oil. Uh, it's 135 gallons. Also another add on here that I forgot to mention, we've got the fire suppression unit right there, the red hose. So because of the cutting oil, you technically could have a fire someday if all the stars aligned into a perfect horrible accident. Here's an emergency stop just in case I see the fire before the system sees the fire. Um, and that will hopefully prevent us from burning down the shop at night if this machine was running unattended and we weren't here. Again, this whole system's kind of been customized. We went from, I think 11 gallons a minute is a standard rubber drill. We're at 22 gallons a minute just for general flood coolant. And then we have uh, just a small little guy there for the wash down to keep the chips running through the machine back to the chip conveyor. Ah, 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 ah. Next thing is just briefly covering software. We bought Camplete, which is a full fifth axis simultaneous um, software that allows us to simulate the actual G code that Fusion 360 kicks out to this machine. Basically, in short, what that means is it makes sure that I don't do anything silly, dumb, smash the machine because of something that I missed and cost myself $10,000. So that's, that software package is roughly $4,000 a year. 
and the machine module that then runs inside that simulator is $1,500 each year that I own this machine currently, right? And those software packages will increase in cost over time. And then something that's overlooked uh, at a cost that a lot of shops I think overlook and something that I wasn't even truly as aware of as I am now is property taxes on a machine like this equals $500 a month, basically for the rest of my life. Now that tax rate does go down over time, but they will always overvalue this asset. So in the state of California, which I'm in, right, it's $500 a month now, six K per year, right? So if we just take the software package costs and property taxes, not including the machine payment, you're at $958 a month to own this machine if all it does is sit here and basically does nothing, right? That's, that's the cost, cut and dry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Getting down to it, this machine, we agreed on a sale price with methods for $505,000. So that price includes some things that were lumped in just from like a financing standpoint. So the vices inside this machine, there's 60 of them. I bought 65 vices so that I had some spares to do other stuff with. Those were $65,000. And then there was an additional $14,000 in tooling from Hymer that we got like a tooling certificate for. So the actual machine cost was $426,000. So basically to sum up all this boring garbage that I've been talking about, right? The lease agreement is 72 months. So with 10% down, that was 50K, right? To get this machine, to get them to agree to give me the machine, right? was 50K. Um, so the principal amount on the loan is the 474,000 and some change. The interest on this lease agreement is going to cost $107,430. So the total financed amount is 581,752 plus you got to add back in that 50 grand as the initial down payment. So we're over $600,000. Once we go back and roll in the property taxes that we were talking about over the next couple of years, six years, by the time all this is said and done, you're almost at $800,000. So the monthly cost right now is $8,079 for this machine, just through methods. So that's a 6.91% annual interest rate, right? And then they kind of break it down in those agreements to where like, the first year is 6%, uh, 13 through 24 months is 5%, 25 through 36 is 4%, month 37 through 48 is 3%, right? So then their first four years, they recoup all of their money, right? So they get that 107, 430 from us, right? So then in the following two years of this six year lease agreement, you could technically pay off the machine without any penalties. If you pay off, let's just say that I become rich for some crazy reason and I pay this machine off tomorrow, they still get that $107,430 no matter what. So to summarize all of that, between the monthly payment and the software and the property taxes, it costs $9,037 a month to own this machine, which is basically if we want to break that down, I always think of everything in 52 week groups. Per week, $2,085. Per working day, Monday through Friday, $417 for this machine to sit here at Connor Manufacturing. All right, guys, uh, sorry it was so boring going over numbers. That's just the realities of this machine. And I do believe that most of my viewership right now are machinists and hobbyists and people that do this. So just kind of giving you a quick little glimpse into that. If you guys have any questions, uh, you want to know more information, reach out to me, email me, message me on Instagram. The next time you guys see us, we will be ripping. We'll be making some cool reels. We'll be doing all the stuff that you guys like to watch on Instagram and whatnot. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks to, you know, shout out to Methods. They have been great. Uh, the service techs, all of them, apps guys, the training. 
It was all super good. They were super professional. Uh, a really, really positive experience. Thank you to Micah Daly behind the camera, Central Valley Productions. Thanks to, yeah, literally, I'm just super thankful to be here. We're having fun, and uh, hopefully you tune in for part three. Uh -huh.